Donald Trump has never, ever been right in the head. The late, great Hannibal Lecter. It's an ad now running on Fox News. An anomalous, really an anomalous. <laughs> and between the spot and the channel's news coverage, Mediate headline, Trump loses it on Fox News for carrying Harris rally and letting perverts advertise on the network. Take a look at the oranges, the oranges of the investigation. Venezuela, the, it's, uh, if you have a windmill anywhere near your house, they say the noise causes cancer. True social, why is Fox News putting on crazy Kamala Harris rallies? Why do they allow the perverts at the failed and disgraced Lincoln project to advertise on Fox News? Uh, I don't know what I said. Um, I the whole criminal. They have voter ID. They have ID on everything. You buy a loaf of bread, you have ID. Even Mr. Kellyanne Conway, a man so badly hurt and humiliated by his wife, she must have done some really nasty things to him because he is crazy, is advertising on Fox News. We have to win without Fox. The first non-incumbent. The kidney has a very special place in the heart. We appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. Ah! Injection inside or, or almost a cleaning. That an illegal ad. Learn more at psychopack.org. Anti-Psychopath Pack Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. Mm, so Donald Trump is clearly infuriated over that ad. And the fact that Fox News is carrying it is making him even more irate. <laughs> the anti-Trump pack behind the commercial says the spot is running not just on Fox News, but also on ESPN and the Golf Channel in Palm Beach, Florida and Bedminster, New Jersey. Trump's golf resorts there usually feature those channels in the pro shop and clubhouses. So it's possible Donald Trump himself or his resort guests saw the spot at Mar-a-Lago or Bedminster. And imagine how that went over with Trump. <laughs> George Conway, who started the anti-Trump pack, psychopack.org, explained the mission a few weeks ago in a video. This is the most important election of our lifetimes, and I'm sorry to say the most important issue in that election isn't being addressed. Donald Trump has never been right in the head. We've all seen videos of Trump slurring words. And an ominous, really an, an ominous. And then they announced there was no buys, no. A beautiful, like, look, criminal. Uh, United States. And rambling nonsensically about sharks and electrocution. You know what I'd do if there was a shark or you get electrocuted? I'll take electrocution every single time. Hannibal Lecter. He's a wonderful man. Donald Trump's problem is He's just nuts. He's a populist authoritarian narcissist. He is a consummate narcissist. Governor Chris Sununu called Trump crazy, but adding, I don't think he's so crazy he should be in a mental institution, but if he were in one, he ain't getting out. He goes and he starts to say these wacky things. That's what scares everybody about it. Our country can't be a therapy session for a troubled man like this. A narcissist at a level I don't think this country's ever seen. Trump is not simply eccentric or odd in a good way. He's unwell mentally unwell in a dangerous way. I'm pleased to announce the formation of the Anti-Psychopath Political Action Committee, or Anti-Psychopath for short. I'm putting my own money behind this pack. We're going to use those resources to educate the American public about Trump's psychological unfitness for office. With the help of mental health professionals, we're going to explain how his condition poses a grave danger to our country. Ironically, by responding to the first psychopath advertisement, Trump has increased his own political danger. His outburst has drawn more attention to the ad than it might have otherwise received. More people are seeing the commercial, hearing about Trump's derangement, and learning about the anti-Trump pack than just viewers of cable systems in Florida and New Jersey. However, Donald Trump obviously cannot resist lashing out, especially when it's an organization like Fox News, which Trump believes should show absolute fealty to him. Supporters of psychopath.org, including George Conway and others, say they are thrilled <laughs> that Donald Trump reacted the way he did and elevated the PAC's efforts. Officials at Fox News are not commenting, although a few staff noted that Trump's unhinged response proves the point of the ad. That is, Donald Trump is showing horrible judgment and seems to have an unhealthy obsession with any criticism of him. In other words, Trump is making the case once again that he is a narcissistic sociopath and psychopath. While George Conway's pack is using ridicule and humor, at least in the first commercial against Trump, another anti-Trump group, the Lincoln Project, is out with a new ad that is simply frightening. The ad draws a terrifying connection between Donald Trump and the most notorious dictators in modern history. 
when the dictator speaks. When somebody's the president of the United States, the authority is total. Listen when he promises revenge and retribution. I am your retribution. I am your retribution. Listen when he tells you what rights he'll steal from you. That I was able to terminate Roe v. Wade, and I'm proud to have done it. Listen when he promises you this is the last vote you'll ever need to cast. In four years, you don't have to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good you're not going to have to vote. Listen, because every dictator in history spoke the same way. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. Can you hear him now? Between the Lincoln Project and Psychopact.org, the airwaves are filled with commercials that portray Donald Trump as a dangerous lunatic. And on top of the commercials, there is the news coverage on Fox that is amplifying the leadership of Kamala Harris. Last week, Fox broke into its 6 p.m. Eastern news show to bring live remarks of Harris following her meeting with the Prime Minister of Israel. Here is Vice President Kamala Harris. So I just had a frank and constructive meeting with Prime Minister Netanyahu. I told him that I will always ensure that Israel is able to defend itself, including from Iran and Iran-backed militias such as Hamas and Hezbollah. The net effect on Fox News is that Harris is being taken seriously in news coverage, and during commercial breaks, Donald Trump is being lampooned. To be clear, Fox News coverage of Donald Trump is almost always positive and whitewashes over the things that Trump says or does that are unhinged. However, for Donald Trump to see contradictions between news programming and the commercial breaks is making Trump lash out and go berserk. And it's reinforcing the point from George Conway and others who insist Donald Trump is a lunatic and a narcissistic sociopath who must be defeated. By the way, the Harris campaign is now trolling Donald Trump with a vicious new nickname. Trump is old and quite weird. That adjective, weird, has become a Harris campaign nickname for Trump. And her surrogates are amplifying the ridicule of Trump and MAGA. These are, these are weird people on the other side. They want to take books away. They want to be in your exam room. That's, that's what it comes down to. And don't, you know, get sugarcoating this. These are weird ideas. Listen to them speak. Listen how they talk about things. Listening to Trump, the nickname weird seems to fit. The late, great Hannibal Lecter. Okay, they say, why would he mention Hannibal Lecter? He must be cognitively in trouble. No, 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 these are real stories. Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lamb. He's a lovely man. He wants to have you for dinner. He'd like to have you for dinner. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from 1992 Heritage who wrote, I am 72 years old and I have seen a lot in politics. Trump is the absolute worst I have seen in my lifetime. I hear you. I look forward to reading your comments about Trump exploding at Fox News for running a brutal anti-Trump television commercial. <laughs> I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.